the Ledger Nano S Unboxing and Initial Setup. You can get a Ledger Nano, Ledger Nano S, or Ledger Blue at ledgerwallet.com. The Ledger Nano S cryptocurrency hardware wallet now works with Dash, Zcash, and Dogecoin. Ledger Nano S is a Bitcoin, Ethereum, and altcoins hardware wallet based on robust safety features for storing cryptographic assets and securing digital payments. It connects to any computer by USB and embeds a secure OLED display to double check and confirm each transaction with a single tap on its side buttons. The Ledger Nano S comes in a nice, simple, small box with a picture of the Ledger Nano S on the top. It says Ledger Nano S on the sides and a brief description on the back. When you first open the box, you will see the Ledger Nano S. I'll take out the Ledger Nano S and you see it says Ledger on one side and Theories and Numerous on the other side. I hope I pronounced that right. I can take out the foam insert and there is a small envelope with two cards, two sheets inside, which we will take a look at. Under the sheets there are two lanyards, a long lanyard that can go around your neck and a short keychain lanyard. In addition there's a keychain ring and the USB cable for attaching your Ledger Nano S to your computer. The USB cable has a nice little Ledger logo on it so that you don't get it mixed up easily with your other USB cables. We can take a closer look at the Ledger Nano S itself. We can see it has the Ledger logo and the word Ledger on one side of its comb metal cover. On the other side it says Varies and Numerous, which means strength in numbers and is often used when talking about Bitcoin, as you can see on this plastic Bitcoin poker chip. The Ledger Nano itself swivels out from the metal cover. It can swivel out either way and swivels around 360 degrees. You can see the OLED display. Two buttons for controlling the menu. Ledger Nano S on the underside. A USB port for connecting it to your computer or phone. It's a very nice, simple, yet strong and elegant, very well thought out design. We can take a quick look at the two card sheets that come in the envelope. The first one is a getting started sheet that tells you to go to start.ledgerwallet.com in order to get started and configure your ledger. The other card is a recovery sheet used to write down recovery keys and we will be doing that soon when we configure and set up our Ledger Nano S. We will start off by going to start.ledgerwallet.com. We can pick the Ledger Nano S out of the devices. And I'm going to want to configure my device first. So I'm going to click on configure my device. Here it tells us what to do. It says the left and right button can navigate through the menus. Pressing both buttons together confirms the selection. To get started, you need to plug your Nano S into your computer with the USB cable. You can see in the top right corner, I've already got mine plugged in. I'm on step two right now. Choose a PIN code. You have to choose a four-digit PIN number, and then you have to confirm it again after choosing it. After that, it will give you a recovery phrase. And that's when you use the recovery card to write down your 24-word recovery phrase. After that, you again have to confirm your recovery phrase, so you go through a little selection process of selecting the proper words to confirm your recovery phrase. Once that's all done, you're ready to go. Your Ledger Nano is ready to be used. You can start installing your apps and using your Ledger Nano.
If we take a quick look at the OLED display on the Ledger Nano, we can see that it comes pre-installed and set up with Bitcoin, Ethereum, FIDO U2F, and Litecoin. We can check out the settings menu. I'll go and adjust the brightness. You can make it brighter. I'm going to dim it as much as possible. Next, I can rotate the screen, which I will choose to rotate the screen. It will make it easier for me. Invert colors. You can invert the colors, which is too bright for me, so I'm just going to leave it on the default. You can also check the firmware version that is on your Ledger Nano S, which we will update the firmware version in the next video. Last, you can go to help where it says to get assistance, contact Ledger support. Gives you the website, email, and phone number. So I'll quit that and I'll start to install the apps. If I go back to ledgerwallet.com backslash apps, you can see that I can install the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin, the Ledger Wallet Ethereum, and the Ledger Manager. So I'm going to start off by installing the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. I'll click on that, which will take me to the Bitcoin page. We can read through here a bit. Simple installation, multi-account, open source, first class user experience, user preferences, and top notch security. So I'll click on get the apps and then install the Chrome application. This will take me to the Chrome store at chrome.google.com. I'll click add to Chrome, which will install the app on my desktop. Once installed, you don't have to have Chrome open. You can just use the app right from your desktop, right from your start menu. Now it's installed. I can see it in my apps. So I'll click on Ledger Wallet Bitcoin and start it up. Now you want to have your Ledger Nano S connected to your computer and you want to double click on the Bitcoin icon so that it says use wallet to view accounts. If that's done properly, the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin will start to connect to your Ledger Nano S. Here we can see it says your wallet is synchronizing. It does take a little bit of time, not too long. Maybe a minute, it says a few minutes, but it really doesn't take that long. So just be patient and it will connect to your Ledger Nano S and open up. Now it's open. We can see I have a BTC balance of zero as it's a new wallet. I can click on send in order to send to a different wallet or exchange or wherever I want. I can click on receive. It will show me my QR address and my wallet address. Very easy to use. So I'll close this. I'll go back to the Ledger Wallet website and I'm going to install the Ledger Wallet Ethereum. So I'll backtrack one page. And I'll click on Ledger Wallet Ethereum. Then I'll click on Get the App and Install. This will take me back to the Chrome Store. I'll click on Add to Chrome to install the Ledger Wallet Ethereum. With these two wallets, you can access all of the coins that you are able to store on your Ledger Nano S, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic through the Ledger Wallet Ethereum and all of the other coins through the Bitcoin wallet. It's now installed. I can see Ledger Wallet Ethereum in my apps. So I'll click on that and start up the Ethereum wallet. Remember that you want to have your Ledger Nano S plugged in your computer and you want to have Ethereum selected on the menu so that it says use wallet to view accounts. When the Ledger Wallet Ethereum opens, I can select ETC or ETH so I will select ETH Ethereum. 
this will open my wallet it's open we can see I have a balance of zero ethereum because it's a new wallet I can click on send where I could send ethereum if I wanted to I'll click on receive where I could receive ethereum it'll show me my QR address and my actual wallet address so very easy to use very straightforward so in the next video we'll update the firmware and we'll get the device working with Zcash, Dash, and Dogecoin. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.